Hey everyone. I hope I get people joining me tonight. I announced it everywhere and I'm excited to see everyone. I had so much fun last week. Let me see if anybody's hey everyone. Okay. I get people joining me tonight. This is announced it everywhere. Loud. I'm excited to see everyone. I had myself on camera <laughs> behind me. <laughs> I'll just wait for everybody to join. Excuse me. I still have my cough, so bear with me. And yeah, I'll just wait for everyone to join. I have a bunch of new stuff to try, you guys, and I'm really excited. But I had one foundation in particular, and it doesn't match, I don't think. I'm going to try it anyways. But hey, hi, Antonia. How are you? You know what? I have, <laughs> excuse me, I have a monitor where I can see myself in the background just to see how clear I am. And it's delayed, so it's so funny. <laughs> I don't know if I like that or not. I'll just wait for a few more people. So Antonia, since you're here, I have a few things to try, but then after I posted my thumbnail, I realized that Max sent me all their new lipsticks. So I did a lipstick swatch a couple lives ago. Hey Lisa! And I don't know what I should do. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't know if I should do that or not. So let me know. I have Jane Ardell that I was gonna try out and I think I'm gonna try it a little bit. But um, I think it's too light. And what else do I have? I have a mascara from Swing Swede. Yeah, a mascara from Swede that I'm gonna try. I have the new Natasha Denona palette. And that for sure is something that I'm gonna use. I'm really excited about that. So hey Linka. That's so strange. I'm so delayed, you guys. Okay, how's my quality? Because I have it going through my Canon 90D and I think I tested it out with Lexi, my daughter in Brooklyn, and she said the quality was so much better. So all good, okay, yay. Oh, what's that? I'm here for a little bit, but have to go to my son's hockey game. I loved it when my son played hockey. That was so much fun, I miss those days. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope the parents that you sit with are really kind. Ah, Kelly, I'm so glad too. From Arizona, yay. I'm so glad you're here. So I think, how's my quality for, for um, picture quality now, guys? I feel like it looks good. I feel like it's the best quality so far. Hey, Jackie. Oh, I'm sorry. Jackie, every time I talk, I, I get a cough. Excuse me. Okay, I think I'm going to get going. So one of the first things that I wanted to try was this Jane Ardell um, pressed base, pure pressed base mineral foundation. And um, I think it's going to be too light. So I'm just going to touch it. I actually should have tried this before because I just put a little self tan on my face thinking that I had to because this one kind of felt like I needed a little bit of color. and. I guess I didn't. So how's everybody tonight? Alinka, that's so good. I, you know what? My son had a MacBook Air downstairs and I'm able to use my Canon 90D through his computer. So I stole it. I still didn't receive the, oh, you did it? You had, you ordered yours before me, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh my goodness. So I ordered from Beautylish. So anyone that, maybe, you know, hasn't ordered it yet and wants to, it came very quick from Beautylish. Darn it, Ilinka. Ah, well, I hope I love it. I know that I'm gonna end up with a couple different looks on my eyes tonight. So, um, all right, should I do my eyes first or should I do my face first? I like doing my face because it gets, um, it gets it all even. So I think I may do that. And before, my skin is pretty hydrated. Now I know when she comes out with something else. Or yeah, I think that might be good. I don't understand why that is. It's too bad. Face first, okay. So 
they were, I've been gifted. I'm so lucky. I've been gifted. Oh my God. You guys have to see something. I didn't know. I didn't know I was going to get this. I had no idea. Remember? Hang on. Look. Oh, I'm so excited. So oh, my husband's home. Um, I already got out some of the older colors that may go with the new colors, right? I'm, I'm so excited. Jane Ardell also sent me this, so I want to give it a fair shot, and I know that I'm not the right color, um, but I'm going to put it on a little bit and then wipe it off, I think. And I have the Natasha Denona concealer as well. I got P2. I had tried a different color. I think I tried Y4, and I wanted to try the P2. I've seen a bunch of people use that. Right, Kelly? Oh my God, I'm so excited. And I, I think I'm actually going to give, I bought three, so I'm going to give three away. I'll do a little giveaway. Maybe, how are we going to do that now? Um, I don't have the boxes for the ones that I bought. So when, whoever wins this contest, so I got to figure out how to do the contest. Maybe, maybe... How should I do this, guys? Any any suggestions? I've done a giveaway before, and it was I'm trying to build my Instagram channel, but I really care more about my YouTube channel, to be honest. But Instagram's easier to communicate with. I don't know. Hmm. Anyone know how to do a giveaway? <laughs> I need to learn how to be an influencer. <laughs> I have no idea how to do these things, but I want somebody to win it. So I bought Mare. Uh, Velvet Teddy and what's the other one I bought and I bought hang on captive audience so I want to give those three away to somebody so captive audience mayor and Velvet Teddy I want to give as a gift set up an email account just for giveaways okay um, I have you know what? I'm almost ready to publish my my website, and that has um, that will go right to my email. Maybe I should do that. So about the P2 is great for under eyes. N3 I use all over a little bit, goes a long way. And okay, I'm just gonna put that up there. Okay, really, and it's better than any foundation. Okay, so. That probably won't match my skin now, but I will definitely try that. Maybe when my fake tan fades. Um, okay, so I have, my website will be up. I'm hoping this week, I still need to make some changes, but once I give the company a, the go ahead, they're gonna have my website up and it's there's a contact me in there. So I wonder if maybe that's what we should do. Go to my website, but it, mm, that won't work because it's not gonna be up until probably like the start of the week. Can you guys, um, can you follow me over on Instagram and maybe give me a little message? Is that possible? Or you could go underneath the, um, I just want, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna see all the people that are on my live tonight i'm going to put your names in a hat or a bag and i'm going to pull from it and i'll contact you directly that's what i'll do because i don't want to open it up to everybody on instagram i'll just keep it with you guys how's that i think that's the fair thing to do so i see all you i see kelly i see Linka, lisa Kel, uh, key and and antonio antonia sorry so that's what I'll do, I think. Yeah, okay. So I hope you're the lucky winner and then I'll contact you. I'll try to, what's the best way? Um, I'll find you, I'll find you. <laughs> what, what you should do maybe is connect with me under the post, the community post that we did maybe. And, and just remind me like, or say, okay, then I'll, I'll contact you there. Like I'll comment. I'll figure it out. I know, I know you're here and I can go back to the chat. That's what I'm going to do. All right, let's get started. I, I kind of just want to touch this on my face. This is, like I said, the pure, pre, pure pressed base mineral foundation. 
I really don't think this is going to match. And um, I want to give it a shot, though. Hold on. Where's the brush that she gave me? I feel like I'm really organized until I start. <laughs> and then I'm not. Oh, and they sent me the um, hydrating mist as well. So I want to give that a try. Let me just save it for a video. Oh, yeah. And I bought bronzers. These are the Makeup Forever. Art, um, they're called the Artist. Yeah, Artist Bronzers. I bought three colors. And I want to show those to you because, again, we were talking about getting a bronzer that's good for light skin. So I'm gonna hold those up to my skin and see what's going on there. Well, she gave me that brush and I don't know where it is. Here's a face primer. I'm gonna use the face primer. Smooth Affair by Jane Ardell. Is it Ardell? Iredale? Iredale? Has anyone used Jane? Iredell before. Okay, so that's a creamy product. Stopping in. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, I'm doing a giveaway. Where's Jody? Hey, Jody. That's okay, Jode. So, um, Amanda, hey. I just wanted to, those that are just joining, I'm going to do a little giveaway because I got a really nice package from mac and i got all their new lipsticks i had already bought three so the three that i already bought i'm going to give away to one of you so i'll make sure to i'll do that tomorrow I'm not sure when i'll be able to pull your name but i will make sure to let you know as soon as i do it oh this is nice guys it's got a like a fresh citrus smell to it you've had good luck so nice. Okay, awesome. The only powder foundations that really work on my skin are mineral powders. Uh, thanks, Lisa. Well, I don't need it. I want one of you to have it. I wish I had more to give. I will do more of those for sure. Okay, that feels really nice. I love the smell of this. Brightening, brightening primer. A brightening, blurring, and hydrating primer that helps to maintain the skin's youthful appearance by minimizing the appearance of pores and fine lines. It also preps the skin from um, so that makeup can go on easier and helps to extend wear. Okay. It feels nice and smooth. I don't even have my mirror in front of me. I was thinking about putting TikTok on a live, but the only thing is um, I get some kind of gross people in there. Like here, I really feel like I'm going to have women and it's going to be a safe environment. Thanks, Jody. I put some effort into myself today. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Key. I've had a rough week, you guys. A rough week. I went to the emergency room um, the other day because I couldn't catch my... Here I am talking. Oh, I found the brush. Okay. Um, I couldn't catch my breath in the middle of the night. So I went, everything is fine, but I don't feel fine. So we're going for more tests, <laughs> excuse me. I still have this cough. So I'm just gonna swirl in here, but that's, but my lungs are good. I went to the rest, oh, here I go. I went to the respirologist and my lungs are all good. My hearts, well, I don't know if my heart's good, but they're sending me to a, it sounds very dramatic. I don't think anything like this is happening, but I they're sending me to the stroke clinic because my eye, I, it actually looks a lot better today. It's still not right, but it's a lot better today. So I don't think I'm having a stroke though. Oh, okay. This is definitely gonna be too light. Oh, that's pretty. You know what? This will definitely match my natural color. I was there and our healthcare, like most people's healthcare right now is so, um, uh, we were there. I was, well, my mom and dad drove an hour to come see me cause they were worried. I wish I hadn't told them that I was going, but I wanted, I knew I was, I talked to my mom and dad about every day, almost every day especially if I haven't talked to them on the weekend, because when I'm with my husband, we don't really chat as much. Right? It's pretty, Lisa. 
it's just a little fair for me right now, but I think I'm going to make it work because I, this feels nice. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Anyway, I told them I was going because I knew I wasn't going to be able to answer the phone or they would wonder why I wasn't calling. So they drove an hour to come see me. And this is the test right here. So let's see how that covers. This color, by the way, I chose satin, which is a, a light medium. Let me just look. Hold on. Satin is considered um, a medium light with peach undertones. I don't know what made me pick peach. I don't really consider myself a peach. Anyway, so I can't drive because he said he's um, wondering if it was a TIA that I had, but I really don't think that that's the case. Bonsoir. <laughs> I love your name. <laughs> okay, what do we think of that? It's got great coverage. I would say that for the look that I'm doing tonight, um, first of all, it's a bit too light, but I want a bit more of a fuller coverage. I always recommend this kind of foundation for somebody, you know, those, if you're that person, I'm, I'm a peach, <laughs> thanks Lisa. Um, if you're a person that really can't stand that feel of foundation on your face and you're, you know, you've just gone all your life without foundation because you can't, you don't like it and you like your natural look. But now that you're a little bit older and your skin maybe have, has some discoloration, this is the product for you, something like this. I like a little bit more full coverage, but I will use a powder. I will use something like this when I'm just running to the store and I, I want to just polish myself a little bit and not spend a lot of time. Thanks, Kelly. I've been looking at, it's so funny. I always get so personal on here, but or so it's not funny. It's very strange. I've been looking at a lot of um, myasthenia, myasthenia gravis, myasthenia, myas, something like that. And a lot of the symptoms, a lot of the symptoms sound similar to mine. And um, I was reading all about this, and all of a sudden, on my comment section today on a video, somebody said, "Have you thought about myasthenia gravis?" And I said, "Funny you said that. I, I've been really watching a lot of videos and looking this up, and it's very similar to what um, you would like that powder, Lisa. Yeah." Uh, so, and that would explain why my blood work is coming back normal because it requires a different type of blood work. It wouldn't show up in regular blood work. So anyway, I just would like an answer. So I think, I think I can, see, I want these covered before I get my bronzer on. So I think I am gonna put a little bit of something else on. I actually pulled out the camo CC cream, the e.l.f. camo CC cream. I pulled out a lot of foundations because I had a feeling that this would be a little bit too light. So I want to vote. I've got e.l.f. camo CC cream. I've got House Labs, um, Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Ambient Foundation, I believe. I've got um, Dior Face, sorry, Dior Forever Glow. And I also have Clinique Even Better that I can try. So you guys let me know which one would be ideal for you to see. And I have Wet n Wild as well. So I wanted to give you an option between drugstore and higher end. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get into, um, my eye doctor is trying to get me into a neuro-ophthalmologist, but the wait times are house labs, Amanda. Okay, you're the first one, so let's go with that. So the, the wait times are three to six months. Uh, I don't want to wait three to six months. So I don't know what to do. You love them? I love them both too. Which ones do you like better, Jody? They're both, they both have a little bit of a different finish, eh? Like the, the house, sorry, the house slabs I feel like is a little bit more hydrating. 
I would say. Okay. Should I just? No, I want to take this off. I do like this a lot, though. Kind of a bit different, yeah. I wonder if I have, I have three house labs foundations. <laughs> yeah, see my colors coming back. I'm gonna give that a good try in an actual video, like an edited video, so that I can show you what it looks like when I'm fair. I think that's gonna be really pretty. It's the easy out the door. And mineral foundations have a touch of natural sunscreen in it too, because it's got the mineral. Okay, good. Let's do that. Sephora Gail didn't do it. Oh no, take it back, Jody. Is it too late to take it back? I take things back. I don't have the money to have things. I mean. Sometimes I keep things, especially since I've been making videos, things, products, because um, I want to maybe compare. I want to have it to go back to. By the way, I'm using the Hyper Real Serumizer from MAC. Look, at I, I have a focus situation going on. There we go. This is so pretty. It's expensive. I love this stuff. I didn't realize how much it was going to cost. Yeah, Jody. Um, Sorry, Lisa, I found it just a touch dry, but I, I really didn't freshly prep my skin. So I think using that powder, I have to prep really well underneath. And I kind of didn't put the effort in because I knew that that wasn't going to match. So when I do the video fully on this, when I'm matching it properly, I will, I will definitely prep better. I do find with any powder on my skin, I need to prep very well even a finishing powder. Yeah, Jill, well, can you mix, even mix it with a different um, foundation? You sound like me, you sound like you got a lot in your collection. <laughs> We're so bad. Uh, okay, so, yeah, and I wanted to try this as well. I picked up the, hold on. I picked the, Skin Canvas Balm up. I haven't tried this one yet. I like the serumizer so much, so I wanted to try this. When I used to work at MAC, I wasn't thrilled with the skincare, but this is gorgeous. Okay, so this is a creamy formula. Light. Is it possible to do uh, Asian makeup and American Girl Keep Natural Beauty? Is it possible do, um, what is that? I have to Google that. Hang on, I'm gonna Google that so I know. Just a second. Uh, what is it doing Asian makeup? Oh, it pops right up. So what's the dip? Oh, like, is she an actual person? Is this a one specific? What is doing style? Glowy, translucent skin, glittery eyelids, bright concentration, concentrated pink or mauve blush, oftentimes highly pigmented, glossy, semi-matte lips. Um, makeup has to come to embody one of the China's most... I could try that, except that I have a lot of sun damage on my face. So I would have to almost cheat it. I would have to, yeah, it's really pretty. I can see it. I would have to cheat it because it, unless this doesn't matter, but I think it does. Hey, Gladys. How are you tonight? Gladys, I'm doing a giveaway. I just want to, anyone that's new popping up here, um, I'm doing a giveaway because Max sent me all their new lipsticks. So the ones that I just bought, uh, what, Velvet Teddy, there's three. Velvet Teddy, Mare, and I don't know, but I'm doing a giveaway. So now you're in the giveaway, yay. Okay, so let's go ahead. That feels nice. 
See, over top of this, I think the Jane Ardell powder would feel much better. So I definitely will try that out. Okay, let's go on with the House Lads. I have it in a couple different colors. Let me see. And of course, I can't see. So I'm going to just mix what I can. The formula is all going to be the same. And we'll see this on. I know a few people have been asking me about this one. I feel like that might be a little dark. Let's see. I love it. I showed it in a short a long time ago, and it literally was my favorite foundation of... Is that two? Hold on. I have... That looks a little yellow. Let's see. Does that look like it matches or is it a little yellow? It is so glowy and I've made myself really glowy too. So it's really going to be glowy. You guys let me know. Does that look like it matches? It's hard to see for some reason tonight. That's the other thing I'm watching is um, my vision. You know what? I think that's okay. It looks okay in my light. Does that look okay? You can make it work. Okay. Let me see if I can get even a better match. Oh, I have this lash here. That might be better. I think. Okay. Let's just get it on there. I don't know. It's harder to see at nighttime. This is the best time to do lives, but I'm really enjoying filming in the daytime. That's a lot because, oh, I can really see so well in the daytime with my window just a touch open. Hi, Lynn. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm going to put you up there. Look, I'm on StreamYard now, so I can actually do these little things. Thank you. That's so sweet. I'm so glad you say that because I don't know how to act. <laughs> I can't pretend. Like, I, I find myself kind of saying some words that I hear other people say. Like, okay, without further ado, let's get on with the video. And I'm like, that is not something I would normally say. <laughs> Except for I've heard other people say it. Okay, so let's get going. Oh, yeah, see? So pretty. You don't even need this much. I just went a little crazy because I mixed so much in my hand. Like your skin looks like skin. Gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, what else was I gonna tell you? How's everybody's week been going? Anyone planning to go away? Right, so my website, by the way, I was mentioning my website, and um, Lisa's on here. I had a session with Lisa. Lisa, I think we were supposed to see each other on Sunday for your hair. I had you in my calendar, but I think I just kind of forgot about it because I haven't been feeling that good. Portugal. Oh, I'd love to go to Portugal. I'm going to put my hair back. Who am I kidding? I tried to make myself look pretty, <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'll keep it down. That won't work out. Hold on. One second. I thought I got these out already. Okay, let's get this back. Hopefully this hairstyle will last a couple of days. Let's get it out of my way. Me with all my foundation on my hands. Oh, gorgeous. Has anyone heard of Sweeney? Or Swede Beauty. Not Sweeney. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it Sweeney. Hold on. One second. Oops. Oh, God. Did I just move you all together? Okay. Yeah, me neither. And they reached out to me and asked me if they, if they could send me something. And I said, yeah. But their lashes look so pretty. Look. They look so delicate and natural. Do I have it upside down? I think I do. I'm really bad at putting lashes on. I don't know if that's something I should attempt this evening. Probably not. 
So I'll tell you a little bit about Swede. Hold on. Let me tell you. I have it up. So they are, oh, okay. Gabriella Elio, growing up in a beauty store, I discovered my position or my passion for makeup. I love how subtle makeup can transform you into a happier, more confident version of yourself. Sounds like what I like to say. My motto for makeup has always been look like yourself after a two week vacation, glowing skin, lush lashes and full of life. All of our sweet products are designed and developed by me with years in making, with the years, with years in the making, everything from formulation. Okay. Makeup artist, that's who she is. And then a Swede and Billion Baby Turtles. I think every for every lash lift mascara sold, Swede is rescuing one sea turtle. Well, that's awesome. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, they're so pretty. I don't think I've ever seen any so delicate. Will I try them tonight? Probably not. I get nervous. I'm really good at applying them on other people, but I'm not good at applying them myself. Okay, that looks good. I think I'm blended. It's easy to blend. I didn't even have to blend it that much. Um, all right. Good, good, good. Now, concealer. I have, I showed you the Fenty Beauty. We're going to do a vote again. And I've shown you the, um, I love the Fenty Beauty, by the way. House Labs, I've got the House Labs concealer and I bought it in light peach. And I also bought the Natasha Denona concealer in, yeah, N3. No, that's not the one. In P, sorry, P2. So let's take a vote. Which one? But House Labs and Natasha Denona. I haven't shown the Natasha Denona in a video. I don't know if I've even shown the House Labs in a full YouTube video before. So, hey, does anyone have a glass of wine? I was telling people on the other platforms, you can grab a glass of wine. Natasha Denona, okay, let's do that one. Focusing on enjoying my skincare and makeup. My love for my skincare and makeup getting through. Yes. What's your favorite skincare, Kelly? Okay, let's hope that this matches. I am a glowing goddess. I wonder if I put too much. I'm very, I feel very hydrated because I put the MAC serum on. You should get, you should get a glass of wine. Okay, let's do, oh, that's quite, quite peach for me. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Hmm. We'll see about that. Okay. Let me put a little bit of powder on my brows. I want to get my brows on and should, yeah. And then I'll go on to my eyes once I do that as well. Powder. Well, I'm in the house labs mode, so I might as well put some house labs powder on. I love this stuff. It's so good. Has anyone tried this? Tarte's new serum film? I haven't. No, I haven't, Lynn. So what kind of coverage is it? Lynn's asking, let me just put that up on the screen. I have the sniffles. Get that back. Right, Jody, you and I are the same. Hold on, let's which um okay. I think this might be too peach. Or I use too much, maybe. Hold on. Hmm. my skin is moving and not bouncing back. <laughs> it's funny. You got to laugh. Hey, Elise. Weight, medium weight, amazing hydration. Okay. I need to go back. Oh, that's actually turning out to be pretty. Okay. 
Patience, Julie, patience. I haven't tried a lot of tart in a while, actually. Huh, I am pleasantly surprised at this. It went on pretty peach looking. <laughs> okay. What do we think about that color? I'm a little surprised. Of course, my nose is running. Hold on. <laughs> I have these old hair towels from my studio that I uh, use all the time to wipe my makeup on. Okay. I'm using, oh, somebody asked me, who was it? Asked me which brushes I liked better, the Nikki LaRose or the BK Beauty brushes. I, and I answered, yeah, it looks good, eh? I'm a little surprised. I wonder what it would look like in daylight. I mean, everything is set to daylight in this room, but you never know. It did camouflage, didn't it? So, right, so brushes. I'm just gonna make sure to clear that off here. I'm using the Nikki LaRose a lot, but I feel like if I were to pick a set, like for my core set, I would use, I would go for the BK Beauty, the original brushes as my core set. But you know, some women like shoes and some women like bags. I like makeup brushes. I have a collection. You should see my brush collection. So I would own all of them, <laughs> but I see a purpose for everything. But if you were to pick, if I were to pick one out of all of them, I would do the original first and then the Angie Hot and Flashy because I like Angie Hot and Flashy for its, you know, small brushes to get in the crease, especially for hooded eyes. Um, I found Tarte definitely recognizes a mature, cons yes, you know, my girlfriend, um, we call each other the hoes. I went on that trip with the TikTok girls from, um, from, yeah, TikTok. We went on the Virgin Voyages cruise together. And it was all mature women. There were five of us. Anyway, uh, one of the girls from Miami, or no, she's not from Miami. She's, I don't know where she's from, Florida. She's getting invited to all of those events. I'm so happy for her. And it's Tart. Tart, she was at a Shiseido one. So I'm happy for her. I, I love to see that. Okay. Um, let me see. My eye, is my eye starting to drop? No, it's okay. That is really hard to watch when I edit my videos. Like I haven't been perfectly well for a long time, but when I'm seeing that, uh, the struggles in my eye when I'm editing, that's hard. That's a little bit frustrating. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is a few of you have mentioned that the painterly and the soft ochre paint pot are drying on your skin. So just use your concealer as an eye base. That's fine. I'll show you one. Let me see. I don't know about using that one. I'm going to use, let me see. I want to use more of a, like a long wear concealer. Uh, I'll show you. Hold on. I always end up leaving my chair in a live stream. One second, one second. Okay, focus. So like the e.l.f. Camel Concealer is really good if you wanna use that as an eye base. Right there, you'll see, easy peasy. And it might be a little bit more forgiving and if that is too dry for your eye, then go with something more hydrating, like maybe the Natasha Denona or the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. That'll do too. You see it just clears everything off. That's what you wanna do. You just wanna clear every all the discoloration off of your eye before you begin. Maybe some people would find this dry though. I'm not sure. Okay.
Jody, how did you like Australia? You should live in Florida. You'd love the weather here year round. Where do you live in Florida, Lynn? I used to go every year with my family. We used to go to Daytona Beach Shores. Well, Daytona Beach and then Daytona Beach Shores. Mom and Dad stopped going there for a while or um, for since 2019. Okay, so ooh, let me center this. These are the colors. When I watch her video, Natasha Denona, she said that these are specifically formulated to be able to just use one color on their own, but then you can build it up. I think all eyeshadows are to do that. Oh, you can do that with any eyeshadow formulation. Um, so let me just tell you exactly what that is. I'm so prepared tonight, you guys. I just thought I don't want to be flustered and be haphazard like I normally am. And I feel a little bit more organized tonight. Okay, the Hyper Natural Face Palette combines the no makeup makeup concept with Natasha's renowned expertise, creating an everyday eye and cheek essential infused with hydrating skin loving ingredients. This talc free, let me, build, yeah, now I can read it better. Talc free hybrid face palette showcases five eyeshadows perfect for finger application, an ultra soft blush duo, and a multifunctional bronze and contour trio. Okay, talc-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, made in Italy. And um, they are like a cream. She said, oh, yeah, okay. So the blush duo is eyeshadow formula with a luxuriously silky gel powder texture. The pink coral high-tech powder blush duo and multifunctional bronze and contour duo come in new ultra soft formulation. Okay, so let me just feel this. Yes, it is. It's very creamy. So that is the darker color of the two in the eyeshadow. And that is the lighter. So I am going to mix those two for sure. I really feel like most people will. And then let's go on to the contour. Uh, we've got, let me do the light, medium, and dark. We got light. Oh, does that even show up? Medium and dark. Okay, let me put, go into that light one a bit more. Hold on. Okay. You know what? Do I have anything light? I don't really tan as much here. Will that show it more? Okay, so that's the light. Actually, that's really pretty. Let me just go more here. And then that's a better swatch. Oh, those are the best swatches I've ever done. That is a really pretty color for light skin people. And these could be used as an eyeshadow if they're too dark for you. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna continue to swatch on that part of my hand. So we're going to go with, we're going to go from this side over to this side. Okay. So we've got every day. Gorgeous. Dreamy. Oh, that's my favorite color. Gorgeous. Okay. The next one is statement. Now I'm learning how to swatch properly. Wait, focus. Oh no. Is it focusing? Guys, it's not focusing. Um, and then we've got soft. There we go, that's better. And then casual. Best swatches I've ever done in my entire makeup career. Look at that. That's really pretty. I'm really impressed with this actually, this one. Okay. Um, all right, let's, uh, should we do the contour first or let's do the eyeshadow? 
You guys want to see an actual eye look or do you want to use it the way she recommended and use one shadow with my finger and build from there? I'd like to, right? Aren't they beautiful? And they are super soft, but in a, in a soft, creamy way, not in a soft, dusty way. Okay, I'm going to use every day first, just with my finger. Oh, there's the creases. Every day, all over. I'm gonna end up with two different eye looks again. This eye has a contact in it <laughs> so that I can see. She said to use it with your finger, but you can use it with the brush as well. Oh, thanks for being here. Oh, perfect. I can't eat popcorn with you. I'd be, imagine that, I'd be such a mess. Okay, that's really pretty. I am gonna use a brush. So I wanna be able to get up in there. I like going live with you. I don't really get out of the house much. So you guys are like my friends. I know that sounds sad, but it's actually, I'm not sad about it. When I can sit here with you, it makes me feel better. That's really pretty. Perfect every day. Oh, I really like that. I'm just gonna put it gorgeous. Okay, so which one should I do on the left eye? I'm not centered, am I? There we go. Any votes? A lighter color, darker color? I'm gonna build up after this for sure. Now I'm craving popcorn. <laughs> Soft, okay, so should we do, let's, you know what, I'm gonna do dreamy. Let's make sure that this is all. I need my nails done, don't judge. I get them done tomorrow, I'm so excited. I switched, I used to have my nails in a square end, and then I switched it to this. I don't know, I don't know which one I like better. That is so pretty. I think I might leave it. Maybe I should put the pinky color, like this color on the outside. It's so tempting, Jody. It's so beautiful. Well, you can't go wrong with her palettes, I swear. Okay, that's what it looks. Can you can you guys see me? Hold on. I want to make sure. I want to make sure that you can see nice and close. I'm going to do that softer pink on the outside. Hmm. One moment. Which brush should I use? I have so many to choose from. Okay. It is so, like, this is my style. That sparkle makes me so happy. I love it. Why is my nose running? For the love of, I haven't had to blow my nose all day. Just waits for me to get on here. Can you see that? Or should I put it on like, it's very, very light. Not in a bad way though, just in a really beautiful, fresh way. Oh, there, I pulled that up. My son's computer, the monitor feels like it's dark. I have to blow my nose, I'll be right back. I'm gonna do it off here though. I posted a video this morning and when I was done editing, I'd wished I had sprayed it with um, a setting spray because I felt a little powdery after. Anyway, I don't know what made me think of that, <laughs> but everyone watching should hit this. 
Yes, everyone hit the like button, yay. Good summer shade, it is, for sure. Is that, yeah? <laughs> this cough, it's not even bad, it's just annoying. <laughs> but this, you know what? This could be your your last palette. <laughs> That's it won't be, I know. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna go a bit more in there. Easy to apply with your finger too. Okay, fresh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So shall we build it? Where's that? That's really pretty. I kind of want to see what that looks like on its own, but I don't want to wash my eyes off. Alinka, you're going to love it, I'm sure. Okay, so we're going in with Statement, which is this one now, and I'm going to build on top of it. I'm not good with, I want a brush. I know she said you can apply it with your finger and I absolutely agree, but I want a brush. Okay, very pretty. Very pretty. Let's go. They're all just really soft. Like even the dark, I don't think you can go overboard with it. Carla, what did... Hey, Car Carla, I haven't, you know, and I, I did think about that because I have a favorite sunscreen that I never talk about and I really want to talk about it. I, I don't venture out a ton with skincare and, but I do have a bunch of skin treatments on here. So I have the Morpheus 8, I have the Potenza microneedling. I have even fillers and Botox on there too. So I have a lot of that on here. And that's partly because I get it done and I want to share, but also the woman that I go to, Nurse Chelsea, she's so, oh, I have to tell you, she's so good at explaining everything. So I love just letting her talk and tell everything that she knows about skincare. I don't have the memory or the regurgitation ability to tell you exactly why I love a skincare. I can tell you that I really love it. But um, I like there's three things that I won't do without. Is it three or four? Vitamin C, retinol, retinol, um, some sort of product that way. Um, hydration, obviously, like a good moisturizer. And there was something else, sunscreen. So I, a lot of what I, like my skin, sorry guys, my hips are getting a bit sore. Um, my skin, a lot of it is the treatments that I've done. So I would rather, you know, a lot of people are into La Mer and all these very expensive brands. For me, I'd rather put that money aside for treatments, like actual cosmetic treatments. No one is doing them anymore. Skincare, you know, I, I like to go to the dermatologist for that information. Excuse me. Because... Like what one person, like I really like the feel of these. I can't even tell you why I love the feeling of these, but I love the feeling of them. My skin loves it. I love Tatcha. I love um, my my retinol is by Murad. I've worked with Murad. Um, I didn't buy it on my own. I tried it and then liked it and worked with them, but I liked it so I continued to use it. So I used the Murad retinol treatment at nighttime. <laughs> Natasha, so much of my money already. Oh, yeah, you don't need it. You don't, you don't need anything. And just put me up there. So you know what, I would shop my stash if I wasn't doing videos, because I don't need anything. But it brings me so much joy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Antonia, I, I love the touch it. And can I say that it's better than anything else? Absolutely not. And I'm afraid to say the wrong things when I'm talking about skincare. I think that's why I kind of stay away from it. I'm afraid that somebody's going to get on there and know better. And I'm going to say something wrong. And I'm going to get myself in trouble. 
So, okay, so now that I've got that on, did I bring it up high enough? I've got, I need to put more concealer there. Let me, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use a little bit more of the first one, which is every day. And I'm gonna drag that up a little bit just to blend the touch. It is very personal, Tracy. Hey, Tracy, I didn't know you were here. Trace, what, tell us what you use. I'd love to know. Like, you know, when I work, used to work at Sephora or even at Shoppers Drug Mart, Tracy, you would know Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada, or I think a bunch you would. Um, you know, my first questions were, what do you like the feel of? Like, it, And that even goes for makeup. If I'm choosing a foundation for somebody, and I ask them what they use for my skin for their skincare. If they tell me that they use a really light lotion, I'm not gonna go and give them a foundation that feels rich and feels, you know, thicker. I wouldn't give them necessarily the house labs because the house labs has more of a um, dense consistency compared to something like um, let me see, what's a thin consistency like a Laura Mercier Real Flawless foundation or even a powder. So if somebody tells me they don't like the feel of a lot of lotion, I'm not gonna go and give them something that I love on my skin because I like that richness. So when I would try to narrow it down for skincare, what they would like, I had to ask them so many questions to be able to get the information I needed to direct them where I thought that they should go. That's a, that's a good idea, Tracy, <laughs> excuse me. I'm hitting pan on, my Makeup by Mario's um, bronzer. That's one I'm hitting pan on. Okay, so that is really pretty. Now, to finish this eye off, I'm going to go back into Dreamy with my finger, even though I don't need to, but I want to pop it with a little bit of glitter there. A little bit of, it's not glitter, it's a little bit of sparkle. So... Yeah, that's why, I don't know if you guys know that, I don't talk about it as often as I should because I um, don't have my website up yet, but it should be up very soon. But I offer online lessons. I was going to say courses, but it's not a course. So it's just you and I sitting together going through all your stuff. And we talk about maybe why you don't like it, why it doesn't work for you, what might work better for you, or different ways that you can use it. Because a lot of it's just troubleshooting like Jody, was it you that we just mentioned in the comment, like you can make it work. We can make things work that you already have in your collection without you going and buying a bunch of new product. So a lot of people on the comments asked me what would be best for this, but it's very hard for me to know that if I don't know you, I need to know a bunch of answers to the questions before I can give you a proper recommendation. I will have to try the Ole Hendrickson Peptide Boost Moisturizer Lynn. Okay. Oh, I don't, I've never tried, I don't think I've tried any of his stuff. Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. It, Lynn, is that a thicker consistency or a lighter consistency? You use Retin-A, Milk Toner, Bioderma Missler Water. I love that one. Peptide Ceramides. Yeah, and so my favorite, um, what's your favorite sunscreen, Tracy? My favorite one is the Skin 104 oh, Madagascar. It's so good. It's so good. I don't have it here because it's in my getting ready in my bathroom. Comments, let me get down here. I really, yeah, the one that the, so what else? I'm going to have to look back at this. You guys are going, it's a lighter consistency. Yeah, so like somebody like, um, like I like uh, Beauty by Joe's and I've heard that's really good. Do you guys watch Cheryl? She's a Canadian. She's younger. I'm, I got to continue to do my makeup. That's really pretty. What am I going to add on this one? Should I add the gray onto my pink eye there? I'm going to bring this in a little bit more. Maybe I'll add the um, this one. Maybe I'll add it as a liner. What's this called? Casual? I can't see it. Okay, so let's go to a stiffer brush then. And I like this little fresh look. 
I think I do this in almost every video. I show you two different looks. Hey, did you guys see the violet color tattoo that I did the other day? I thought that was so pretty. And you just can over Lynn, and you just can over apply. I'm trying to stay away from fragrance and skincare as well. Um, that's uh, sorry, Tracy. What t what skincare are you using? I know Judy Beauty by Josen Pharmacy. I love the Honey Halo. That's so pretty. I've never tried anything from Caudalie. Cl Serum. I'm missing Jody. You just said something too, did I? Elf makes halo hydration for a rich cream. Is that rich? I thought that that was um, more like a water cream. I haven't tried that one. I don't know if I would. I mean, I thought I did try that one actually. I thought that that one was a more like a, a light, almost Neutrogena type of moisturizer. You know the, uh, is it not Hydrosource? Is it a Hydro? Yeah, it may be a Hydrosource. What do we think of this liner? Now I have to try it because I like a ton of e.l.f. I have to try their blushes. I almost ordered it the other day, but I bought so much makeup recently. Okay, this is pretty. I wanna take it a step further, of course, and do something a little bit more dramatic on, on this side. Would you show us the new Makeup Forever Foundation? No, um, actually they're coming, they're sending it to me. I'm really lucky, I don't know when it's coming. I almost bought it, but um, they did say that they, we're gonna send it to me. I love Rare Bl Beauty Blush too. I have one of hers, but I wanna use this one today. I really wanna show you guys this, but I forgot I have bronzer in here. I wanna show you the makeup. I'll do that in another video too. I have so much that I wanna share. Okay. What do we think of this look? I don't know. I kinda of liked it with just the pink. Dr. Sam Ellis is exactly, okay, I love watching her. She's my kind of girl, I find. Okay, so I'm gonna curl this lash and put some mascara on. Just keep it like that for now and then I might boost it up. Let's try this new mascara. So this is the Cloud Mascara from Swede. They were very kind to send it to me. I got it in black. Oh, and they, did send me, okay, they sent me some eyeliners. Oh, they sent me a nice light pink one. Well, that's exciting. This will go pretty on this side. Hold on. Let's do this. I love putting a nice light inner rim. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. go. Alinka, you have a channel? Wait, do I follow you? I have to follow you if you have a channel. Okay, let's see how this goes. I missed, um, I don't know if you guys see, has anyone watched Rosemary with RMS? Hold on. Basement. Let me just put that up so everybody can see. This is nice. Let's see if my curl holds with it. Nice and black. The proper placement for bronzer is under the eyes along the orbital bone. Makes sense. Hmm. Okay, Alinka, I'm going to follow you for sure. 
I'm sorry, I didn't know that. I don't think I knew that. Because I think I try to follow people. Okay. It's quite a wet formula. Let's see. Let me just stop playing with it. Maybe I should have just done. On this eye, I'm going to go a little bit lighter. Like I'll just do one coat. I like to work it through, but I feel like they're sticking slightly. Again, this is my bad eye though. So let's do it on my good eye. Nothing's really looking the greatest. I need, I know my eye looks better, but nothing's looking that great there. Runs around my brow bone, not good with eyeshadow, more of one. See, that's good, Tracy. I, one of my favorite makeup looks, I remember doing dramatic makeup. And this one girl, I used to be a sales representative, if you can imagine, for hair care products, professional hair care hair care products to go salon to salon. I was horrible at it. Absolutely horrible. Um, anyway, this one, I had an event for this um, one product line that I used to sell. And this beautiful girl showed up. And the only thing she had on her eye was something like this. And it was so pretty. And she really made me rethink the way I did makeup. I loved the clean freshness, fresh look of it. It was gorgeous. And I just saw her beauty and not the makeup. Like on the daily, I don't wear a ton. You have great eyes. Ah, oh, thank you. Thanks, Tracy. I must be the only one who couldn't make the Thrive Mascara work on my lashes. No, my girlfriend didn't didn't have good luck with it either. I love it. I don't know. But that's just the thing. And this is why, you know, not a, it's not for everybody. Nothing is really for everybody. Just got to try it out and make sure they have a good return policy if, you know, that would be nice. So if you don't spend a ton. Is it just me or... Is this really making my lashes stick? Oh, I put tubing mascaras on my second coat over waterproof mascara. Oh, okay. Does it not clump? I don't know. I'm not having the best of luck with this, you guys. It's feeling... Any thoughts? Hmm. Yeah, a little bit. It it's just I don't know. It's a bit wet. So like if you saw my video that I posted today, I used the YSL lash clash and it's fluffy. The formulation just allows it to keep my lashes looking fluffy. And I don't find that they get spiky looking. But again, my eyes could be just not cooperating. Like that lash is my fault. That's not the mascara's fault. I need waterproof mascara to hold the curl. You know, uh, Tracy, a really good one to try that holds my curl is the Benefit Fan Fest. It's so good. I don't have a, I need a spoolie, I guess. I just washed, washed my spoolie. Is that better? 
That might make it better. Get over there. I love how black it is. Does that look better? I think so, maybe. I have one eyelash coming down here, I think. And that's, again, my fault. And I think because my eyes have been bugging me lately, I haven't been really good with my lash serum. So some of them could be falling out. I did curl them. Yeah. Oh, Carla, I use Revive 7. And I don't know that you can get that in the U.S. I love it. It really works very well. Um, okay. Well, should I do a second coat on this side? Feel, yeah, it just feels like a little bit of a wet. <laughs> Look at this one lash. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's one wild one that's really long. So my daughter who works in Brooklyn Guess who she worked with yesterday? You're going to die. Hmm. Okay, so it was too wet for you, that the Thrive Mascara? Better, but we shouldn't have to. That's, yeah, right, Jody. I don't want to have to work this hard. I feel bad. I feel like I'm going to like this better when it just dries out a touch. Right, I forgot what I was saying. So Lexi works with a, with a production crew, or she freelances, so she'll work with anybody. And yesterday she was with Bon Jovi. My, I couldn't, couldn't, well, she's been with a lot of stars, but she was in Red Bank, New Jersey, and yeah, spent some time with John Bon Jovi yesterday. Okay, this is driving me crazy. I can't even get that to, that's my eyelashes fault. That's not the mascara. I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to give this another shot, I think. Kiss heroin, the sky high. Um, okay, so you like the Milani, Tracy? Okay, what am I going to do on the bottom? Which eye do we like better now that I've got mascara on? Should I make this a little bit deeper? Or just kind of get on with the, need to do something under here. I'm gonna do the brown. Let's go, okay. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm gonna start off with this lighter brown first, which is the everyday. I'm gonna use that as my eyeliner. I really like the inner rim eyeliner though. My friend's crush, yeah. I mean, he was every girl's crush when we were younger, I think, with his hair. It's really his smile, I think, that makes him cute. He's always had a great smile. Okay, so I can just leave it soft like that. Or I can make it a bit deeper. I almost want it. Do you ever do this with your mascara to kind of get the, if I picture it on the inside of the container, I picture the mascara product coming off of the brush. Just to remove some. A little loud, sorry guys. I saw... Somebody apologized for saying guys a lot. I think it was Nikki LaRose. I say that all the time. I hope it doesn't offend anybody. It Yes, I remember that. He was, yeah, the guy is very talented. An actor, singer. He's a family man, which is even better. 
think that's the best part about them. Um, uh, have to, oh, thanks for coming, Alinka. I hope he wins. Okay, I liked it better on the bottom lashes. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay. Which elf mess? Oh, Carly, you must be asking somebody. Jody. I don't think, so brown doesn't look that good on me. I should try it again, though. Okay. All right, let's get some brows on. I'm going to use the brow detailer again. This is from Benefit. Another one that I really love. Oh, I saw somebody else talk about the Urban Decay Universal Taupe. The pen being a little bit too cool, too. So I love the pencil and I love the pen on the like the idea of it, but I wish it wasn't quite so cool. I love the product. This is, is this the right? Yeah, this is a perfect color for me. Elf Lash It Loud. I have Elf, hold on. Oh, I think somebody else is home. There goes my mouthy dog. I don't know where that mascara went. I do have the e.l.f. mascara though. I think I showed it in the video. Yeah, this is my favorite for my coloring. Well, now we have to follow Alinka. Okay, good. In dark brown, the mascara, Jody. Okay, that's looking better. I really need to tint my eyelashes and my eyebrows. So we had the nicest day yesterday. We were walking around, like people were out in their shorts, no coats, 15 degrees Celsius here. Beautiful. I think it broke, we broke records for the weather. Am I getting it right? So if you all were to say what your favorite foundation is, like if you had one to choose or like, or even three, your top three, what would it be? And I'm wondering if I haven't tried some of them because maybe I should. Okay. Did I get it right? I think that's good, right? And let's do the brow wax too. Am I getting myself off camera when I look in the mirror? I hope not. I hope you guys can see me. And this is in golden blonde as well. Warm golden blonde. I haven't really groomed myself in a while. So if you're seeing wild hairs, yeah, I haven't been feeling good. So I can see it. 20 degrees in Montreal, Tracy. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm a bare minerals gal. I've been for years. No, that's okay. You're not boring. That's not boring. That's, you like what you like. I think I did talk, talk to you about that before that you mentioned that. Backstage Hourglass Ambient. Okay, Jody, you and you're like, we're sisters. Still on the hurt for a hunt for a good one. So drugstore Tracy or for higher end, which would you prefer? 
Let's help Tracy find a really good foundation. I love the Shiseido foundation. I am so hydrated right now. Okay, let me put a bit of powder on because I really prep my skin well. And then with the house labs, it's quite, it's almost tacky. So I want to put a little powder on. Got to get something on my lips. Ooh, should I go through those lip swap lipsticks or should I do that in a full video? Maybe I should make a video out of it. All right, so let's get a little bit of a, I'm gonna use the Nikki LaRose N15. I don't wanna powder everything necessarily, just kind of where, yeah, right there. I kind of like the glow that it's happening. through here okay now let's get on to this uh, I feel like I'm gonna just mix all three together that's the only problem is if you are light and you just want this as your contour that's a very little amount of product and you have to have use a small brush. That's the downfall of that. Yeah, and all my bronzer brushes are pretty big. Hmm. Okay, well, where did, I, where did my bronzer brush go? Hold on. Sorry guys. Okay, I'm gonna use a MAC brush. It's pretty thin. So I'm gonna be able to get in here without it making a mess. And I'm gonna dip into all of them. Swirl. Does anyone, Yensa Foundation, no. Where do you get that, Carla? Tracy, do you have really good skin? Like, do you have hyperpigmentation to cover? Okay, so I placed it and then I'm just gonna blend the edges. That's pretty. What do we think of that color? I like this. What's that look like to you? Yeah, Lisa, I think it looks good. Nice and soft. Like Natasha Tenona's, it's they're so good. I I just they're effortless to blend. That's the thing. And if you have a product in your collection that's so easy to blend, I don't think you'll ever have a bad makeup day. I think it's impossible. Another, oh, you guys have to, I need a list for all the Korean brands. Where are you getting it, Jody? Is it from Style Vanna or is that the name of it? What website are you getting it from? You're lucky. I just have that sun, I, like my skin is good. It's just that hyperpigmentation that makes me want to have some coverage. Okay. Okay. I'm, now that I'm looking at that mascara, I don't think it's bad. Do you? I think it maybe just felt wet and I don't know. Kind of looks good now. Okay. Let's go into this blush. And again, I'm just going to swirl the two of them together. 
And that is what it looks like on the brush. Pretty. Pretty. I'm going to take this out now. I don't think I need it. Just make sure it's all blended. I don't like seeing a stop and a start. And I didn't really powder this, so that's probably if it kind of catches, that's why. But no, that looks good. I herb, okay. Flawless filter. Pretty. See, Elf Flawless, Flawless Filter. The, the halo glow, you mean? Is anyone, when I go into uh, Sephora and I look at the Say Beauty, boy, some of that stinks. Does it go bad fast? I haven't tried a lot. I haven't tried any, actually, because whenever I go into the store and I want to I put something on my hand, it doesn't smell very good. Your skincare faded your hyperpigmentation? That's amazing. That looks pretty, guys. Pretty. I might just put a bit on my nose. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Who am I kidding? So I've gone for all the, uh, like the IPL treatments, and it does work if I don't self-tan. But because I self-tan my skin all the time, it comes back. Okay, beauty. Can be shipped to Canada free duties. Nice. Okay, um, let's try some, what am I gonna do for lips? So, do we have any wishes for lipstick? If we can, yes, Halo Glow. See, I if I use too much of the e.l.f. Halo Glow, I have to be very particular with where I put it because it shows all the texture. How old are you, Tracy? Anything that's, um, that shows, like, has that real glow, if I'm not careful, it will show texture. Do you use? No, I don't. Oh, Carla, you're asking Tracy. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. I think it's really pretty. I do want to boost this eye up a little bit with something. I know it looks pretty the way it is, but you know how I like more. More is more. <laughs> um. So I am going to put something on there. Uh, I want to put a little bit of that gray on again, I think. I'll use a fluffy brush. And just go in that outer corner. Can you guys see me okay? Just want to boost it up a little bit. Gray and pink looks good. Oh, see, that's pretty. I, I like that better. What do you think? And that's soft. Like, that's this one. With a soft, fluffy brush. This is a Refer 01. Anybody try the Refer brushes? They're really pretty. I find that they're very well made, and they're all natural hair, so they're beautifully soft. Yeah, Lisa, you like that? Wow, Tracy, and you can wear Elf Halo Glow. Do you put it all over? You must have beautiful skin. You're so lucky. Good for you. Good for you. I used to want to be like my mom, and my mom tanned so well, and I'm a ginger. <laughs> so it didn't, yeah. Look at that's really pretty. Okay, well, I'm happy with this palette, guys. Okay, lipstick. Um, should I just wait? Yeah, I need a vote. Should I just Go with the MAC lipsticks in its own video and try something different. I think, I think Swede sent me, I've got an eyeliner. I did the pink. Do they have a lip liner? Yeah, they have a lip liner. Let me try the, the lip liner. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's a pretty... That's really pretty. So this is what it looks like. 
packaging. The packaging reminds me of Lancome or Clarins. What's another one that looks like this? Um, I don't know, but that's Estee Lauder. Just, I think Estee Lauder has something like this. This looks like a high-end package or what, it's not a package. What is it? So what color is this? This is in, oh my goodness. If I could, I put my contact in so I could see too. I don't know. I'll put it in the, in the description box. Lulu, it's Lulu. I figured it out. It feels creamy and it feels like it's gonna wear long. It's a long wear one. Like I tried the e.l.f. lip liners and they were really creamy and beautiful to put on, but this one feels creamy but long wear. The e.l.f. wasn't really a long wear. Great to sharpen the edges. This color is pretty. I really like the package. So there must be a brush. Okay, so there is a brush on the one side. I'm really sure Clarence has the same component. Is that the word? Component? I think so. Okay, so let's use the brush. Carla, me too. Oh my gosh, I used to try to look so dark. Tanning beds were my thing. Oh guys, this is so long wear that, yeah, I can hardly blend that. Oh, that's a good thing. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I think I needed to blend it a little sooner. I can blend the edges a little bit, but that's good though. This is gonna last, yay. That's pretty. I don't think I have a pencil this color. That's exciting. Okay. What should I use? Um, I don't even want to break open that. Uh, do you like to make good for you, Carla? Good molecules. I haven't tried anything from good molecules. I'm missing, missing everybody, but that's okay. I'm so happy that you guys are all chatting with each other. Um, I feel like I would want a gloss with this. Let me, let me get a gloss. This is so pretty. Um, or maybe I'll magically pull one out. No, I picked out Lady Danger from that. I really want to, I think I might wait for the lipsticks to do a full lipstick swatch video. I think it deserves that. So I have a lip gloss. I'll be right back. Hold it all out here. I'm going to use something that I haven't used in a while or maybe new to you guys. So I saw a video today, Huda Beauty was on talking about how she's rebranding everything. They're doing a whole rebrand new logo, new packaging. They're getting rid of their glowish line. And she was talking about how she was sorry that she stepped down from being CEO, CEO and she started being a CEO back in her company last year. She's just announcing it now. That was interesting. Well, she's, did she say she was sorry or she said in hindsight, uh, she should have listened to herself. That's what she said. So I think I'm going to use a Pat McGrath color. So we've got these two colors. Anyone try the Pat McGrath lip glosses? They're so pretty. Um, 
Let me just show you if I can show you a nice swatch. Oh, I'll go to my arm since that was a good spot. So this one is Pink Nectar, I think. Pale Fire Nectar. And this one is Alien Jellic. I'll put, put it up close for you. But they have little iridescence, but not in a way that, not in a way that um, is chunky. Do the, does it even look like a different color? They're so pretty. I remember Sun In, Kelly. My hair's already red though, and it wouldn't do anything to my hair. I would be so upset. No, wait a second. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm gonna do Aliangelic. Let's try this one. Yeah. <laughs> what do we think? I think that's so pretty. It goes with my look, my two eyeshadow looks. You like it? I love that one. I don't I don't really love spending a ton of money on lip glosses, but some are just worth it. And this these are my favorites from Pat McGrath. I have a lot of other favorites. I love Buxom. They're um, th these things. I love those. I really love Laura Mercier glosses. They had sent me some and I didn't really give it a big try. And then now I have one that's in my purse all the time. It's it's like my when my lips are dry, I put that on and it feels so good, but it gives me some color. Thanks, Carla. What other ones do I have? Yeah, I think those are my Buxom, Laura Mercier. Uh, I do like Maybelline. They're really pretty as well. I love Lise Watche for the Canadian girls on here. Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one's a little bit goopier. I have elastics around it. <laughs> it's not very attractive. Law I haven't tried Lawless. Box of mascara, the big fluffy one, Carla. It's got the big bushy brow or um, wand. What time is it anyway? Last time we were on for two hours and 20 minutes. I was trying to be a little faster tonight. Yeah, I like that one too. I really like that one too. I'm I'm feeling a little bit better about this mascara. What do you guys think? I think it was just a little wet. Thank you. Um, yes, so I, I can be, oh, I haven't tried Huda's gloss. So, my skincare. What am I using right now? I kind of switch it up. So I use, I've been using the Floresis cleansing balm. Um, I've been using, what do I use for cleanser? There's a product that I get from Nurse Chelsea. She does my injections, uh, my Botox and stuff. It's called Alumnier MD. I have, I'm trying to use that up. There's a cleanser there. Yeah. Oh, I like that one, Carla. You don't like that one? I actually like that one, the One Coat Wow. See, it's 8.38, so what time do we, okay, my timing's not too bad. Um, skincare, my vitamin C right now that I'm using is by Polish Choice. It's a cream, it's not a serum, but I put that on first and then I'll put my moisturizer on over top. The moisturizer I'm using right now is Tatcha Dewy Skin. And if I want a lighter moisturizer, I'm using Timeline, which is this one right here. I don't even have a link. Oh yeah, I do have a link that I can give that to you actually. I worked with this company. It's got um, Mitopure in it. And they have a lot of studies, studies with Mitopure that it actually changes and restructures your mitochondria, or I don't know if that's the right word. It helps rebuild and make it better, your mitochondria. It's pomegranate is the main ingredient. There's something about the pomegranate that is really showing a lot of great benefits for like vitamins and for like actually digesting and also for the skin. So that one, I like the texture. I don't know if it's doing magic for my skin, but I like it. Um, and then 
the Tatcha I just love. And this one I put on tonight, I bought this because I love it so much. This is the MAC Hyper Real Skin Serumizer. I, I have an empty of this. I used it and love it. And then I put this on tonight, which in hindsight, um, I might have used a lighter moisturizer with the foundation that I used tonight. So but this is definitely, if I want to wear something more matte, like a matte foundation, like a matte, maybe a Dior Forever foundation or so, yeah, something that has a little bit more of a matte formulation, I would use this if I'm really dry or maybe keep this for my night cream. And I don't use a toner. I do use the Polish Choice Mandelic uh, Lactic Acid. I use that often, morning and night, if I can remember. I love that stuff. And yeah, the rest of it is really, I use, my mom looks young for her age. And I should show you a picture of her. She looks very young. And also I've done skin treatments. I've done microneedling, Morpheus 8. So we're actually, that's what I wanted to tell you. So Nurse Chelsea, am I missing questions? Let me make sure. Um, Biosance, yeah. So, and my makeup remover is Garnier, this one. This is my go-to makeup remover, unless I'm wearing a waterproof mascara. The, I really like Shiseido. Uh, some of their skin, I love Shiseido too. Uh, my skin loves it. It's really, really pretty. Um, so on April 4th, I believe, is that a Thursday? Nurse Chelsea is going to come on with me and do a live session at the exact same time on Thursday night, seven o'clock. Let me just tell you exactly. So April 4th. So April 4th, I'll announce it in the community tab. She's coming on at seven o'clock and she's going to, we're going to discuss some of the things. No, trait. sorry, I'm, I'll finish my topic. And then, so she's going to answer any questions that you have regarding skin treatments. She is my nurse practitioner and she's done my Morpheus 8. My girlfriend, Michelle Spieler, she just did a video and she was very passionate about how dangerous radio frequency and microneedling devices are. And they can be if the wrong person is using them. So I've had Morpheus 8. There's pictures of me from before and after with my neck. That it's visibly different, visibly better. And I think it's really important to get her on to discuss why, you know, maybe things didn't work out for some people and what you're to look for. So, um, oh, who had a bad experience with Paula's Choice? I miss that. Oh, didn't do anything for your skin. Tracy, what did you use? Anyone use um, drugstore like L'Oreal or? Oh, Kelly, she's so awesome. She, I love Michelle. She's every woman's biggest cheerleader. And when I heard her, did you see that video where she was talking about her facelift and, and where to spend your money? Because I think she had, um, with the vitamin C, yeah, oh, with the vitamin C cream? I don't have problems with the vitamin C cream, but there's the vitamin, I don't know what it was, but there was something that might have bit a little bit. Um, anyway, Carla, I'm getting ready to make an appointment with a cosmetic dermatologist for evaluation recommendations in office. Awesome. I, I feel like, you know, you have to look after your skin, the moisture barrier, what you can do like a retinol or your vitamin C, you have to do all that stuff, your sunscreen, but those products can only do so much. And when you go in for a treatment, when you do you know, if you, and no pressure to ever do that. But if you did decide to do Dysport or Botox, it creates, a, you know, a, a, there's no skincare that will do what that does. And there's no skincare that will do what a microneedling treatment does. And you don't get the treatment, you don't get the effect of just one treatment typically. Typically, you have to do a few. But if you take care of your skin and you do that over time, you know, once in a while and keep it up, your skin, it, it does make a difference. But microneedling and um, 
those things, they don't show in your skin until a few months later because it takes a while for your collagen to build. Julie, which treatment is best for wrinkles, hyperpigmentation that you've had done? Um, so uh, hyperpigmentation, I've done the IPLs and I've done PicoSure. PicoSure probably is better than, um, than the IPLs. And all of that would be great if I didn't self-tan. You wouldn't see my hyperpigmentation as much. For the wrinkles, I mean, definitely Dysport. I've been doing that since I was 30. So I, I will never stop doing that unless my body absolutely rejects it, of course. But I love my Dysport. Um, I'm going to make a video, actually. I filmed when she did my entire neck. So she did Botox, just like little dots all through my neck to smooth it out unbelievable difference it was so pretty so you know all these bands all these muscles in your neck that pulls your neck down that pulls that kind of turkey you know that turkey neck down those muscles pull and so not only are you losing elasticity in your skin but if those muscles are pulling that can really create like a sagginess in your skin but when she does the botox in my neck it smooths everything out and it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So that really helps a lot. Um, and then the microneedling for sure and the radio frequency. But Nurse Chelsea, when I get her on here, she's a little nervous because she she said, well, I, I I said, we'll guide you. All my all my viewers are going to ask you the questions that they want to know and I'll help guide her with the questions. But I trust her. She's not only really talented, but she's also an educator. Like she's going back to get her master's for nursing and she's a biologist. Like she's so educated. But I think when you, I think Michelle, she had gone to a spa and the doctor, I don't even know that the woman was a nurse. So she, it was like a medi spa. And you have to really, if you're going to pay for something like this and like a Morpheus 8 or like a radio frequency, or something that can melt the fat and alter the appearance of your face, you got to make sure that you're going to somebody that really knows what they're doing. And the lady that I see really knows what she's doing. So um, I do have hollows, but not too bad. Sculptra is another one. Sculptra is, um, it's an injectable, but it's, they inject little crystals in the face and those little crystals will create like a, um, it doesn't, I have to get her to explain what sculpture does, but it does thicken the skin. Good for under eye bags. It completely depends on what's causing the bag. So do you have like, do you have a dent right here and then a bag kind of, of fat? Is that what's causing the bag? Because that could be, Morpheus 8 could do something for this because if that's a fat sack, it can help tighten and kind of melt the fat. They have to go so gentle underneath your eye though, but that is a possibility. Oftentimes it's surgery though. Um, fillers, I don't know that a lot of people do fillers under here anymore, but it, it really depends. So like if you have, do you have loose skin as well? Like can you kind of pull the skin away? Another, I've been looking at um, oh, uh, CO2 laser. I would really like to get that done. And I did go for a consult, sorry, I did go for a consultation for CO2 because I'm a perfect candidate for a CO2. This area in here, like I don't have, oh, I didn't powder under there, did I? I should do that. I don't have a lot of loss. I don't have a lot of darkness. Um, I don't have a fat sack sitting there. So mine really is crepiness and texture and a CO2 laser actually will, uh, it's a CO2 fractional laser. So it will actually take that top layer of skin off, but there are risks to that. Michelle had that done. Michelle had a uh, spieler. She had the CO2 laser done under her eye, but there is a risk that you'll be pink for a year. You could have so I had gone for a consultation to look at um, getting my eyes done. But the reason I didn't was because I want my whole face done. If I'm going to do it, I want the whole face because I'm freckly. So what if I have lighter skin here and versus here? I, I want it all done at once. 
I have the opposite of fat sack. Mine are hollows and purpley. So your skin's getting a little thinner. Um, microneedling can help a little bit, but they can't go right up under here. So they, when they do a microneedling around the eye, they have to, whatever skin they can pull down and get onto that cheekbone, they can treat that skin. Um, a little bit of a, a retinol also will help with textures. So I use the Murad. I, they're not paying me to say this. I, I have been paid by Murad, but they're not saying that. So the retinol is, um, it's a, it's gentle enough for the eye, but you can't go too close underneath the eye. Make sure to hydrate really well, but a, a CO2 laser probably would be, I have the opposite of that, so okay. Me too, Callie. That's scary having procedures done on your faces. It is, Carla. I'm really lucky. I haven't had any issues and I, th I look like me when that's the key. So when I go to Chelsea, she knows I don't want anyone to know. It's not that I don't wanna tell you, I'll tell you but I don't want to be obvious. I want to keep my features the way they are. And I just want to look like a fresh version of myself. So I do have a couple of videos to edit. I just haven't been feeling that great. Um, did the contact with the teams, spinal cord injury. Oh, you guys are chatting about Carla. Yeah, Carla, you got so much pain, eh? Oh, you use tretinoin under your eyes and, okay. How does that work, Lisa? So you your skin must be adjusted to it. Put that down. And take collagen. No, I don't take collagen supplements. Um, I don't. I take. I uh, do use AG. That AG green drink. Um, should I zoom you guys out? I'm quite close, aren't I? <laughs> you don't need me that close. Um, I don't put a lot in my body other than what the naturopathic doctor tells me to do because I have some health issues. So I make sure that I just follow the directions. I would love, I really need to get a prescription. I would really like to try that, Lisa. Aesthetic or no, no, she's a nurse. She's a nurse. She actually worked. Um, she actually, she's a bio, bio. What is she? She's so educated. She's really educated, but she's a nurse. So she was a surgical nurse and then in a cosmetic clinic. She actually, when I had my breast lift done, she wasn't there, but she used to work there with the doctor. And then she went on to, sorry, do injectables and, um, and everything. I don't know where else she worked before Dr. Lacey. I have to get, my breast lift isn't going very well, by the way. I'm having issues. I don't know. I'll do a video on that someday, but I have to go and get some stuff done. Serum and well, it's done. Really? Yeah, see, retinol, 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 some sort of vitamin A derivative, which is retinol, retinol, ret retinol to hide. Um, I do like the AG, Tracy. It's expensive, but I, I like it. It tastes good. My husband and I have one every day. I eat so many vegetables. Like my... I have a salad every day with a bowl of spinach and all the vegetables in it. So, and that's it, Carla, everybody that's using different kinds of retinol, retinol to hide whatever you use. It's that vitamin C, um, lactic acid, like something to exfoliate your skin and sunscreen, hydrate, put a barrier on there and, I don't think that you need to spend a ton of money on your skincare. I, and sometimes I do because I like it, but not necessarily because I think it's going to do work magic for my skin over something else. I do think it's important for your vitamin C to be in a container that it's not going to oxidize because once it's oxidized, it doesn't work anymore. After a love. Oh, did you Carla? My goodness. You've had health issues. eh? like, I feel like we understand each other, but um, I think you've had it worse. Goodness. So this surgery that I had, uh, not silicone and under the muscle. Okay. And you just had the one surgery. You didn't have a, a redo or like a, so this is my second one and I'm having, I had issues with my right side the first time. And now I'm having issues with the right side. Again, there's scar tissue underneath that's actually attaching to the implant. So it's 
pulling underneath, underneath my breast. So I have to go in for, a, um, I don't know what he's going to do about it, actually. But I found out, I went for an x-ray and I found out that I have like a, it's called, I can't remember the name of it, but I, I have a, you know, your rib cage is supposed to be like this and mine goes in like this. It's called, I can't remember the name of it. It's, it can be common, but I'm wondering if that's why I'm having some issues with, um, with my right side. My friend replaced her breast implant and ended up getting cysts and infections, had to take one out for, wow, really, Tracy? Wow. Mine, when I had my, my um, breast lift, my second breast lift in November, everything was healthy. The tissues around it was healthy. The implant was intact. There was no, you know, there was nothing going wrong with it, but I had, um, you know, I've, I fluctuated in weight. So that was 14 years ago. So everything was kind of dropping and looking I, I felt disfigured. Well, I feel disfigured now be on my right side because it absolutely doesn't look right. Anyway, I don't know when I'm going to have that done again because I really, he actually called me this week to have me come in this week. And I said, no, because my health is, I'm not comfortable with the way my health is right now. And I don't want to go under an anesthetic when I'm not fully healthy. I mean, I'm never really fully healthy, but I don't want to have things going on and not have answers to then go into a surgery. So I'm waiting. You got to go, Amanda. That's that's okay. I'm going to go too. And uh, I'm so happy that you guys were here. Thank you for being here. So I'm going to look at, at once this is done, um, as you know, that this is up afterwards. I put it up and leave it up. But I'm going to go through everybody's names. I'm going to collect it. And I'm going to get my husband and I, we're going to draw you guys, draw a name. And I'm going to send you off a lipstick. So I'll contact you as soon as that's done. And remember when I send you the lipstick, it's not going to be in a box, but it won't have been touched. I promise you that. So you'll be receiving the, what did I say? Captive audience, Mare and Velvet Teddy. And I can't wait to find out who wins. Excuse me. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for being here. And uh, I will see you next Thursday night. And of course, I'll have some more videos up soon. So. I hope everyone stays well, and I'll see you later. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Antonia. Bye, guys.